Hello dears, in this tutorial we solve an application first order differential equation which is Newton's law of cooling. We have an office. The example say, suppose that in winter the daytime temperature in a certain office building is maintained at 70 Fahrenheit. The heating is shut off at 10 p.m. and turn it on again at 6 a.m. On a certain day, the temperature inside, inside the building at 2 a.m. was found to be 65 Fahrenheit. The outside temperature was 50 Fahrenheit at 10 p.m. and had dropped to 40 Fahrenheit by 6 a.m. The question is, what was the temperature inside the building when the heat was turned on at 6 a.m.? We have to find temperature inside the building at 6 a.m. Okay, first we have to set up the model. First, let capital T be the temperature inside the building and capital T sub A the outside temperature. Assume it to be constant in Newton's law. And T is the elapsed time. Then by Newton's law, that's the Newton's law. How you express this mathematical equation? It says the time rate change of temperature is proportional to the difference of temperature of a body and the temperature of the surrounding area. But for this example, we can say the time rate change of temperature inside the building is proportional with the difference temperature of a body and the temperature of outside. Okay. But we cannot solve this equation. Just we have to replace T sub A by a constant. But we have two T sub A. At the 10 p.m., the temperature was 50 Fahrenheit. It's T sub A. Also, it dropped to 40 Fahrenheit at 6 a.m. Most uh, reasonable value is the average, which is 45. The Newton's law became this equation. We just replace it 45 by T sub A. Now we can change it to separable. Yes. Now this uh, differential equation, first order differential equation is separable. You can integrate both sides. We get ln T minus 45 equal to KT plus C star. Okay. We get this equation by integration. And if you multiply this equation by exponent, we get t minus 45 because exponent and ln cancel each other and it become e to the power kt plus c star now just by the property of the exponent you can write this equation like this let e c star equal to c we get c e k t just i uh, take the negative 45 from the left hand to write uh, hand side and I replace it C with EC okay now we need a boundary condition we need two boundary condition to find the value for C and KT first we know that at 10 p.m. which is T equal to 0 because just turn it of the heater so the elapsed time is 0 and the temperature is 70 we have to put this boundary to get C okay t temperature at time zero is equal to 45 plus c times ekt which is zero because t equal to zero it becomes zero and it become one so c equal to 70 minus 45 because we know that t at zero temperature at zero or temperature at 10 pm is 70 okay so c equal to 70 minus 45 equal to 25 c equal to 25 now uh, we get this equation because we found the value for c now we need another boundary condition to find the value of k we know that at 2 a.m temperature inside the building is 65 fahrenheit at 2 a.m 10 p.m to 2 a.m is four hours so elapsed time is four hours Temperature inside the room after 4 hours of shutting down of the heater is 45 plus 25 E4K. And we know T sub 4. 
which is 65 equal to 45 plus 25 e4k then 65 minus 45 it become 20 equal to 25 e4k e to the power 4k equal to 0.8 now multiply by len it become 4k because len and exponent cancel each other and equal to len 0.8 and k equal to minus 0.056 we get this equation that's the particular solution now we are ready to find the main question the main question was what was the temperature inside the building when the heater was turned on at 6 a.m at 6 a.m what is the elapsed time elapsed time is 8 because at 10 p.m to 6 a.m is 8 hour uh, time passed after shutting of, of the heater so you can write this equation t p p is belong to particular solution it means this equation means temperature inside the room after eight hour of shutting of the heater is 45 plus 25 e minus 0.056 times 8 and it equals 61 fahrenheit the temperature inside the building drop it 9 degree a result that looks reasonable this 61 fahrenheit is the temperature inside the building at 6 a.m okay and if you plot this equation you get this plot that's all i hope it can be helpful have a nice time